The next pedal that Trick put out, the Pro and the V series, is called the Bigfoot. Now you can see right off the bat the difference in the footboard design. This is my favorite simply because I like to do, as you saw on the videos earlier, the, the heel toe. When I hit my, um, as I explained in the earlier videos, when I hit my heel, it throws the beater forward and then I hit the toe so I get a bump bump just like you saw earlier. So, But look at the difference in design right off the bat. Here's the cool thing about this pedal. Everything that this pedal does, this pedal does the exact same thing. The only difference, of course, is this whole design here, which to me just plays like butter, baby. This thing is a dream. It's so sensitive to the tip, because as we all know, that some of us are all heel players, all toe players, a little bit of both. This thing gives you plenty, plenty of space on that playground to go and do what you need to do for that pedal. And again, we are also looking at the same assembly on the inside with the Bigfoot as we are with the, the Pro 1 Vs, the same compression spring. Now, Mikey was getting, Mikey Dorfman and crew were getting so many requests for this pedal, but they wanted it just a little bit more affordable because you know what? AL13 aluminum don't come cheap. Um, there's a reason that they're using this. It's a superior material. It's a superior quality. This stuff um, is by far the, the, the best thing you can get when it comes to constructing a uh, bass drum pedal. So those guys came up with the Dominator. Now you'll see here that Mikey can customize your pedals to anything you want or need. Um, in this instance, he had my names put on these, which is you know, really this is a nice little touch. All right, here's, here's the deal with the Dominator. You'll notice the differences right off the bat. First of all, I love the fact that it's that long footboard. It has that same length from heel up to toe as the big foot. Now, here's a couple changes that you'll see here that you don't see on this pedal. You see that the outside, uh, the assembly spring is on the outside. It's not encased in this giant aluminum housing here. The other thing that you notice too is that we don't have the adjustments on that direct drive pin uh, as we do here, which really is perfectly fine because you have all these adjustments with the footboard length. Let's say I want my footboard down here, but I want my beater back here. Well, it's pretty easy. All I do is I make my adjustments right off the bat. First thing I do is I find where I want that footboard to be. Let's say, you know, like I said, let's say I want this guy right there. Okay. Okay. So I'll simply tighten him up, put him here. And one thing about Trick's little tuning pegs is they're so sharp that once you're in them, you're in them. You're not going to go sliding off. All these nice little things that other drum companies just don't seem to be doing. And now let's say I want my beater a lot closer. Now you notice that the footboard doesn't move. Now I'm able to put the beater wherever I want in accordance to my, my uh, playing style. The other thing you'll notice too is that where the pedal hoops up against the, the hoop, butts up against the hoop, it doesn't have that bottom adjustment, which is fine because the way they design this thing with rubber pads here and here, there's a lot of throw between where this rubber piece is and to where it actually would come up against this. And again, it has that same adjustment where you pull up and lock that thing in place. It's really easy to get in and out. You don't have to worry with screws or thumb screws. So here I have a difference there too. But when it comes down to actually just playing, can you hear anything? I can't. I heard my stomach growl. There's no sound on these guys. Now here's another thing, which is really nice. Again, the beater space or the, the hole that you put your beater into is it's not a proprietary beater. So again, if I want to use a slug or if I want to use a felt or any other thing, I'd say pretty much nine out of 10 times those guys are going to fit in there. So if you're really dead against a certain beater, but look at this, this is the dominator beater. Now what's really cool about this guy, let me see if I got the right Allen wrench, is that I'm able to make my adjustments by, there's a little Allen screw right there. And then I can put this guy wherever I want it. 
I'm going to put him here. Tighten him up. And again, the sleeves that fit over on the Pro 1V and also the Bigfoot, um, these sleeves are available for this beater too. Put them in place. Tighten them up. Ready to rock and roll. So again, the adjustability on the fly, lefty loosey, righty tighty. There you have it. Trick drum pedals, double bass drum pedals. The only pedals I'll play.